Life is directed by Daniel Espinosa and written by Deadpool screenwriters Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, Ryan Reynolds, Hiroyuki Sanada, Arion Bakari and Olga Diochnaya. Life is a science fiction horror thriller film set on the International Space Station as a crew intercepts a Mars probe that is carrying a soul sample which they investigate onto and find out it is carrying the first proof of extraterrestrial life. And that is an incredible discovery. But the truth of that discovery is more horrible than anyone could imagine. <coughs> Life is alien meets gravity. It's basically what this movie is. There's a lot of things in this movie that directly call back to alien and gravity in kind of really jarring ways. Like this movie opens with what is a wonderfully constructed tracking shot that goes for seven minutes long and you're you captivated by that. I'm always captivated by tracking shots. They're awesome. But from that opening scene you think, wait a minute, it's like gravity, right? Space station? Going around, tracking all these people. I mean, sure, gravity just, just you know, was longer and more extensive and, and, and threw the characters into this horrible situation for the first 15 minutes. But life still just looked and felt like gravity from its first seven minutes. And those parallels never go away. No movie should have to be compared to something else. Everything should stand on its own, and I'm a big proponent of that. But... I couldn't help it. There are some scenes in life that look almost exactly like something you'd find in Alien or Gravity. And that is not a positive thing. Sure, it's good to be inspired by those movies, but I wanted something new. I wanted something different. And I just didn't really get that. These characters that fill this movie should feel emotionally involved. You should you should be captivated by them, you know, trying trying to get out of this whole thing and for the opening, I'd say, 20 minutes, you are interested in what they're going through. But when one, what you thought was a main character, just dies all of a sudden, everything else just kind of falls apart from there because it's so obvious who's going to die and who's going to survive. Sure, that first death is like, oh, Jesus, okay, good, <laughs> some good ambition right there. But the movie never follows that up. I wanted one of the more side characters to make it through and let everyone else die. Like, that would have been a much more ballsy move. Everyone, everyone, and that's what the original Alien did. Everyone thought that Tom Skerritt was going to be the one who makes it out alive. But he, he doesn't. It's, it's Ripley. We know that now because Ripley is the, the main star of the whole franchise, basically. But at the time, that was just such a shock. Like, okay, Ripley's the one who survives. Cool. Life tries that idea and then never follows that up. And I just thought that was really disappointing. The creature itself, once you see it, this thing is terrifying. It is so just scary as hell to see this thing just creep up to people. And at first you think, oh, look, it's nice and cute. But then its real motivation is found. And it's just, whoa. This thing is straight out of H.P. Lovecraft. And that, that I love. That's what the original Alien did so well. It took the idea of H.P. Lovecraft, which is science fiction meets horror. The fear of the absolute unknown. Something coming out at you that you think is going to be an alien, but it's just, it's something out of your nightmare. And it's exactly what life uses. And that is the strongest point for me, is this creature. It is just like, oh my god, this thing is awful. Every time you see this creature on screen, you're just like, you, you, you're frozen in your seat, you're just, holy crap. But then with every other scene that doesn't have the creature in it, the movie just slows to a halt. I found that the characters that Jake Gyllenhaal and Rebecca Ferguson and Hiroyuki Sanada and all the cast played were intelligent, rational people who were dealing with the situation in a smart way. But the problem with that is, and I think this might go down to the way that this movie was directed, is that you never actually feel as much shock as having an alien creature being on a space station would emulate from people. We get that from the original aliens. We're seeing just a bunch of blue collar workers dealing with this, this strange thing they've never ever thought about ever. They start freaking out and you feel that. And that shock is absorbed by the audience. We feel exactly like the characters do. But in life, you don't, you don't have that. Every time you feel dread, that's just you. 
Whereas the other characters are just like, yep, I'm going to deal with this. And it's just kind of this disconnect between film and audience. And that was kind of distracting to me. It didn't really add enough new elements to make life stand out to someone like me who has seen a lot of science fiction movies. It does have a great, and I mean great, twist ending to a very average movie. Life has a few really good moments and a great creature design and some really good tension. It goes good construction, but everything that fills it up is just nothing really new. And I'd have to say that you're better off watching Life on a Plane. So Life, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below and tell me what you think about this review. There are going to be videos linked down here or one over there. For more Mr. Movies, please press my little face right there. Thanks for watching. Oh.